A man in Maryland, America, has made headlines around the world as the first human to receive a cross-species heart transplant. He's now living with the heart of a pig beating inside his chest. Xenotransplantation experiments date back to at least the 17th century. Now, according to a Witz study, at any given moment, there are 4,300 South Africans awaiting organs. Many of them will not receive them in time. Dr. Vili Kuhn is a pioneering cardiac and transplant surgeon. He's taking time out of saving lives to help us understand and appreciate this breakthrough. Doc, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, your fraternity must be very excited. Doc, I think you've muted your audio there. Okay, let me just have a there look here. There you go. Now we've got you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. <laughs> I think you remuted it after we had you. <laughs> I think and now? Now we, can, now we can hear you. I think you have a sensitive mute button. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry about that. No, I say every every advance, any improvement in transplantation can only help us. You know, we have this long waiting list of patients. So I think the whole world and us in South Africa can only welcome any breakthrough in transplantation. All right, let's, let's go through uh, the technicalities of this whole thing. The first thing I thought, Dr. Kuhn, is why pigs? You know, there's, um, there's a few reasons why we use pigs. Number one, the pig has a very similar uh, heart and uh, size of a patient. So we also want to have a, this, a similar size in weight-wise and also a, a similar uh, anatomy. So the, the pig's heart anatomically compare very favorable with that of a human heart. So technically that part will improve a lot. And secondly, um, when we do gene um, modification on an animal, for instance, like this, they can have a bigger litter. So you can have a litter of 10 little piglets, and it gives you a better chance in your outcomes. Whereas if you have to use a primate or a chimpanzee, you're lucky that you can maybe get one or two little uh, um, um, babies from this uh, chimpanzee and then your chances that this experiment can carry through is much smaller. Uh, Doc, what does the process of genetically modifying the pigs entail? So what the, the actual um, mechanism is, they take your or the patient's gene code, so they take the genetics, the inside of a of uh, um, uh, uh, egg cell, they extract it and they put it into an egg cell of a pig, into a female pig. Then, once this pig conceives and gets then becomes then um, f fertilized, your gene code will then be within that egg cell of that pig. So all the babies after that will have the same gene code as what you have, but. Very importantly, we haven't changed the species. So we've changed the gene code, but you are still, it's still a pig. We haven't made it a human. And that is where the problem comes in, that we are still struggling, that we're still dealing with different species. Although the gene codes are the same, the challenge is that we are still different species. Uh, doctor, how long until we see this uh, procedure being uh, broadly applied? What kind of hurdles do we need to get over before we get to that scenario? And what are the moral implications of this process? So one of the big problems with xenotransplantation, now we in the transplant fraternity, we always have a little joke because we have had this for many, many years. And they always say the success in xenotransplantation is just around the corner and it will always just be around the corner. So that is a little joke that we have, but hopefully this will now be really a breakthrough in xenotransplantation and the success will be in the outcome of this patients. We will see now what are the obstacles, what is going to happen to this patient, what is the long-term outcome? Because we still have human hearts which have a fantastic long-term outcome. You know, we have a 80% five year survival, two year survival of close to 90%. We have mechanical hearts, which give us now also 90% two-year survival. So uh, this will really have to 
uh, prove to us that it is better than what we are currently using. But because all these uh, human arts is in such a deficit, we don't have human arts that we will really grab onto anything that we can improve the number of patients that we can help. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We know you're a busy man. Cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Vili Kuhn uh, speaking about the man in the United States who received a pig heart transplant. If you want to register as a donor and save lives to avoid people having to use uh, pig hearts, you can reach out to the Organ Donor Foundation on odf.org.za.